Hey kids, welcome back. And today we're gonna be entering the kitchen and making a surprise dish. So let's get into it. Good morning and welcome to Kitchen Pan. My name is Shalom Waitaka and I will be showing you how to make bajiyas from home. So I would like to start by showing you the ingredients that you need as you prepare your bajiyas. You will be needing uh, peeled potatoes, peeled and cleaned. You will also need um, dania or coriander. You will need red onions, two or three red onions. You will need white onions, two to three white onions, salt, and some flour. So you will also need lemons, just a small pieces of lemons to use after you've cooked the bajiyas. So we'll start by slicing up the potatoes into thick slices because we don't want the bajiyas to be very thin and not filling. So yes, we'll start by peeling them carefully. So you want to check when you're cutting the potatoes so that you don't cut too thick nor too thin, just enough for them to uh, cook properly. Okay, so we'll continue to chop the potatoes nicely. After slicing up your potatoes, you will need to wash them again a little bit with water and salt. transfer this to a sifuria and boil it for around five minutes, five to ten minutes. Please don't forget to add your salt as it boils. As we wait for our potatoes to continue boiling, we shall prepare our fruits that we will use for our fruit salad, for our fruit juice, sorry. So this our beetroot will start by chopping them out. gonna want to chop the bananas also. Alright, so now we shall go in with our watermelon. Please be careful as you chop this and if you do not manage to do this, ask someone who is slightly older than you to help you with the chopping.
great. So we're gonna chop them a little bit more so that it's easier to to blend them up. Please keep checking on your potatoes so that they don't um, so that they don't overcook or overboil. Just give it a bit of a few minutes. So now we're gonna go in with our passion fruits. So we're gonna go back to our potatoes. After giving them a bit of a stir and noticing that they're pre-boiled, we could now put this off and take them out of the heat. Be sure to drain this water and let the potatoes sit in their own heat for a couple of minutes, maybe three to four minutes. Right, so our potatoes are ready. So as we wait for the potatoes to sit in their own heat, we shall continue preparing our juice. So, in this mixture, you will have to add a little bit of lemon, half of it. If you could get a half a lemon, please sprinkle that all over your fruits before you put it in the blender. Be sure to avoid the, the lemon seeds because they're really bitter when blended. Right. So, one last thing you will not forget to add is half a half a tablespoonful of sugar. Just to give it a bit of taste. Please don't add a lot of sugar because we already have the bananas and the watermelon, giving them um, some really juicy and uh, sugary taste. So. We shall transfer this to our blender. Our food juice ready over there. So, back to our potatoes and our veggies. We will just um, kind of check if they're ready, and you can see they're ready. 
So to these potatoes, we're gonna add a bit of turmeric and black pepper. Be sure not to add too much, not too little. So you want to mix that all up together. So to the same potatoes, you're going to add a little bit of flour. Yep, so you're gonna have something like this, which we are now going to proceed to frying. We'll carefully transfer this to a different port. After transferring that there, it's time to add our oil to the pan and fry up our bajiers. So you don't want to use a lot of oil for the bajiers because they are already half ready. So just a bit of oil like that and let the oil heat up to completion. So after our oil has become hot, we will carefully place our bajiers inside the pan. So let them cook and become crunchy for around 15 minutes or 10. Then you can get them out of the, of the hot oil. So our, once our bajiers are ready, we're gonna remove them from the oil carefully. So, on to our second bunch. Remember to carefully place your bajiers in the hot oil. To 
our, plan, our pan that we have cleaned, we're going to add a little bit of oil. Tiny bit. Go in with your red onions. And your white onions. So after your onions are ready, not so ready, but um, when your onions look something like this, you, could, you should now pour them inside your bajiyas. During this process, please ensure your hands are thoroughly clean so that you could be able to go in with your bajiyas and mix them up properly. onions are mixed up with the bajiyas like this you can now go in with your daniyas just for color and flavor and there you have it our bajiyas are ready you can serve this together with the fruit juice that we made earlier I've been your chef, Shalom Nyambura. Thank you for staying with me. Please remember the SMS line down below. Be, be sure to reach out to us via that SMS line. Let us know any recipes you would like us to try. And we'll be ready to try it out on Kids on the Block Kitchen Fun. I've been your host, Shalom Nyambura. That was such an interesting dish. Sadly, we have to go on a short break, but we'll be back before you know it. Bye, kids.